After losing Game 5 at home, we now face elimination on the road here in Game 6. Welcome back to the Bulls franchise, everyone. I'm Sliding Catch. Even though we won Game 1 of this series, it feels like we've been playing catch-up the whole time. Garland and Mitchell have been killing us from deep, and every game it seems like a new role player gets hot. Last game it was Isaac Okoro who finished with 20 plus points and just crushed our souls with some cold blooded threes that he normally would not make. But now it's back to the drawing board as we face a winner go home situation for the first time this franchise and the first time in this playoff run. I was really hoping we would get Patrick Williams back for game six but that does not appear to be the case. He's still day to day with a broken right wrist. We've obviously missed his defensive capabilities, and we've struggled to defend the Cavs inside or outside, but we might be actually missing his offense even more, because we really don't have anyone who can replace his shooting. Torrey Craig has made, what, two three-pointers all playoffs long, and we haven't had much shooting from our bench either. But if we can stave off elimination for one more game, we have a good chance to get him back in game seven. But the stage is set for game six here in Cleveland and you might notice we've made a change to the starting lineup. In place of Torrey Craig, Dalen Terry will be starting at the power forward position. And he gets a screen assist on the opening possession, freeing up Drew Holiday for a layup. And one for Jared Allen to open up the scoring for Cleveland and that was a perfect pass from Donovan Mitchell. Levine, driving kick, Holiday, wide open three is off, and Allen hauls it in. Shot clock winding down for Cleveland. Another nice pass inside to Allen. Cavs leading five to two. Levine driving on Mitchell and getting to the free throw line. Both are good for Levine. Niang banging inside, and earning two free throws, which he makes. Levine off a screen, swishes a three. That's a good sign as tonight we might need the Levine we saw against Orlando. Mitchell is left wide open for a triple and that was horrible defense on the league's best three point shooter. George Niang misses a, another wide open three. We gotta stop giving those up. Levine can't hit it. And the rebound goes out of bounds. It's Cavs' ball. Niang with the drop step and too strong. Bulls down three early. Levine in the post, fakes out Niang and drains the jumper. We haven't gotten any 50 burgers from Levine in the conference semis, but he's still been averaging an insane 34 points per game. Jared Allen getting some easy looks inside to start this game. Levine passes out of his shot. Vucevic backing down Niang. Drop step layup is good. 12 to 11. Mitchell dumps it off to Allen. He's blocked. Back to Mitchell and he gets the tough finish through contact. Nikola Vucevic open at the top of the key. Misfires. Here is Darius Garland dancing on Drew Holiday and he finishes over him off the glass. Dalen Terry with it. Loses the ball, ran into Darius Garland. Almost halfway through the first quarter, Garland with another assist to Jared Allen. 18-11 Cleveland, first quarter not going our way. Vucevic gets his own rebound and puts it in. Mitchell to Allen, and they're playing hot potato. Back to D-Mitch, who misses the push shot. Rebound Allen. Back to Mitchell in the corner for three. That one's off. That was a give and give and give and give and go. No good from DeRozan. Mitchell open just inside the three-point line, and it rattles home. DeRozan fades away, and it's off the back rim. Only 13 points, seven minutes through the quarter. 
Allen out to Terry Taylor. Knocks down a three in Drummond's face. 10 point game already. Terry driving on Mitchell. And his shot is bothered by Allen. He's been a game wrecker on defense. Okoro, the game five hero. His three is off, but it's put back in by Terry Taylor. Holiday, strong attack, and he gets to the line. I think Drew needs to be really aggressive on offense this game if we want a chance to win. Drummond with a nice pass. I didn't know he had that in him. Alec Burks guarded by Dalen Terry. Steps back for three, and it's good. Alec Burks has been a bad man this series. Hitting tough shot after tough shot. DeRozan tried to go coast to coast and his shot was rejected. Jared Allen at it again. And Allen bothers that one as well. Allen's got it inside, size mismatch, but Holiday holds his own. Drummond outlet pass to DeMar DeRozan. Runs into Allen, gives to Drummond, who lays it in off the glass. Burks, spin cycle, floaters off the rim. Holiday attacking left, kicking out to Terry on the right. Now to Rosen driving on Struess, going strong at Jared Allen and drawing a foul. And he hits both free throws. Now a uh, Ugly possession for the Bulls. Dosunmu barely gets the shot off. Rebounded by Drummond. And Terry hits the second chance three. We really need him to breathe some new life into this starting five as Damian Jones gets a nice putback slam. Drummond off the pick and roll. Nice feed from Dosunmu. And we're on a 13 to five run. We've improved our defense to end this quarter. And we're only down by four now. DeRozan taking it all the way and can't get it to go in the face of two Cavs. Now Garland on the other end almost hit the wide open three. Now DeRozan turns around and hits it with 1.0 seconds to go in the first. And we've clawed our way back to just a two point deficit. Now can we take the lead? Mitchell is double teamed, but Torrey Craig was over aggressive and that leads to a wide open three for Burks. Hamadou Diallo off the bench, he's blocked by Damian Jones. Man, him and Allen have been sending away so many shots. Levine got a good look off the inbounds pass but couldn't hit it. Pick and pop, Isaac Okoro. Not sure we should be leaving him open like we did in game five. Diallo in transition, no good on the finish. Five point game. Here's George Niang. Tori Craig played good defense, but the minivan ran him over anyway. Levine throws up a prayer and it's no good. We can't afford to be having those possessions at the rate we're having them right now. Burks in the corner and it's good. Back up to 10. And Levine cuts back door. He should be doing that a lot more. Coro off a double screen and maybe he's cooling off a little bit. Dalen Terry. In transition, nice finish using the length to score over Mitchell. Now Niang hiding in the dunker spot and he gets the finish to go and the foul. He would hit the free throw. Now Mitchell dishes to a wide open Jones and that was careless defense from Dalen Terry. Levine drops it off to Vooch and his shot is spiked away. Damian Jones yet again. Too short on the finish from Holiday and Vucevic is there to put it back in. Mitchell double teamed, we rotate. 
Now Vucevic guarding Burks inside. He rises up and finishes it off the glass. He's got 11 points. Levine blows past Burks for the slam. We need more of that. Vucevic gets in the passing lane. Now Levine streaking down the floor. Pump fakes and gets Niang to foul him. Levine hits both free throws. Five minutes down in the second. Spida explodes to the rim. That guy is electrifying. Now DeRozan guarded by Jones. Wants to get past him. And Allen comes out of nowhere with the help defense. I feel like the Cavs should have gone to the Allen Jones lineup earlier in the series. I mean, it's like if Evan Mobley was still healthy. Okoro finally hits one from deep. Levine to a cutting Vucevic, who gets past Allen for once. Garland outside, contested by Vucevic. Bulls trying to cut into the 10 point deficit. Vucevic with a mismatch, backing down Okoro for the easy two. Mitchell, tough three is good. Drummond thought about another backdoor pass. Now gives it back out to Holiday. Driving on Taylor, can't finish. Now Garland, Allen, pick and roll, and Allen hits a jumper this time. Another turnover from Dalen Terry. Running into the help defense. Garland to Allen, and his pass is deflected. Torrey Craig with a breakaway slam. Under four minutes to go. Mitchell driving, dumping it off, and Allen gets it stolen away. Levine on the attack, and he uses the soft touch on the floater. Backing out to the three-point line is Darius Garland. Bulls trying to pick up the pace now. Craig trying to score early in the shot clock, but he misses and can't get the rebound. Mitchell drawing attention, gets away from it, and drains a three. That's a lazy attempt at trapping if I've ever seen one. What has happened to our defense? DeRozan trying to get things back on track, going to his bread and butter fadeaway. Now he's guarding Mitchell, and Craig stuffs him. That's more like it. Now Levine out to DeRozan. Around the screen from Craig. Hops to the rim and draws a foul on Max Struess. We fix the free throw issue from the first few games of the series. We're shooting pretty well from the line. Drummond with the straight up defense on Allen. That was nice. 61-50, Holiday goes all the way for the finish. Under two minutes to go now. Struess pulls up and hits a tough shot over the outstretched arm of Drummond. DeRozan running out of stamina and he's blocked before he can even get off the ground. Now Mitchell on the breakaway and he gets it to go. Levine fouls him. Those are things we just cannot allow. Reverse lay-in from Zach Levine and a nice assist too. Garland going right, and then he teleports left. That was extremely shifty. DeRozan spins and scores. Still a 12-point game with 40 seconds remaining in the half. Allen attacks Drummond and scores through contact. And he's flexing on him. That is yet another 70-point first half for the Cleveland Cavaliers. Torrey Craig, no good on the three, and the Cavs will have the last possession. Mitchell fires, that's off, and Levine will get a shot off. He misses, and it's 70 to 56 at the half. 
24 more minutes to come back from down 14 and preserve our playoff lives. It just feels like nothing we've done in the first half has worked at any point in this series. Just really porous defense and some mental lapses and just not a recipe for success. There's not much to say about our first half box score. Levine leads us with 17 points. We yet again are not shooting great from outside. The Cavs, as usual, are shooting well from outside. Plus, we've allowed Jared Allen to just have his way down low. Yeah, the Cavs have nine threes on 20 attempts. We're gonna have to hope they really cool down in the third quarter. So the Grizzlies are the first team to reach the conference finals and the Boston Celtics just became the second. Jalen Brown goes for 42 and it was a comfortable game five win over the Knicks. They absolutely locked them up on defense the Knicks hit only 29 of 83 field goal attempts. So the Knicks are sent home and I still feel like it was a very successful season for them. The LA Clippers faced elimination and they stay alive, beating the Lakers 115 to 89 in game five. They had six players in double figures in this one, a very balanced effort while the Lakers were ice cold. A few of you guys were asking about the slider set I use, and I don't know why it's taken me so long to share it. You know, I have given some vague answers in the comments, but here's some screenshots of my exact sliders. As you know, I like a challenge, and I feel like the only way to ensure a balanced experience and competitive games consistently is by really jacking up the computer shot making sliders. I've got mid range at 64. 3 point at 67. Even though I feel like the AI has come a long way in recent years, I still don't feel like it's smart enough to make advanced reads and see the whole floor and do what is necessary to create good challenging gameplay without having that shot making advantage. I also have shot coverage and timing impact way down 30 and 25. I do that to have more contested shots go in, which I believe is realistic. Obviously there's a trade-off though, and that means open shots are going to go in less often. Also ball security, pass speed, and pass accuracy are down to increase turnovers. I also have defensive strength generally down for both teams in order to again increase contested shot makes, and I might be going a little overboard with it. Please, if you have some opinions on 2K sliders, please let me know in the comments what value works best for you guys. The attribute sliders, I don't really mess with too much. This is just based off of the Schnate 1 sliders, which is the most popular simulation slider set. The most notable thing here is probably offensive and defensive rebounding being down. And I feel like that helps to limit some of the insane rebounding stats that I see sometimes like Bam Adebayo getting like 30 rebounds a night whenever I play against him. Tendencies is a category that I still haven't mastered. I still don't really know what my preferred values are for these but right now I have mid range really high because I feel like without that the CPU settles too much for contested layups and contested threes. Fouls are up across the board, maybe a little too high. I think shooting fouls at 100 might be a little too much. But the goal is to have more CPU free throw attempts. And lastly, I wanted the gap between fast players and slow players to be a little bit wider. So I have increased the maximums and minimums for speed and acceleration. So again, this is pretty much based off of the Schneid slider set but I have made my own tweaks and it's still a work in progress. I'd be happy to share the file with you guys, but I'm on 2K23, so a lot of you guys aren't gonna be able to access it. I'm not gonna bother showing the user sliders because they're just very similar to the computer sliders. The main difference though is that my shooting sliders for user are around the mid to high 50s for mid range and threes. 
I use real player percentage shooting, so I do not time my jump shots. I leave that up to the player ratings and the game's algorithms. So the reason I put my user three point success at about 56 is because that's similar to what the computer has on the default Hall of Fame sliders. I feel like that's a fair value that's not too inflated and it makes bad teams shoot not that great but the Bulls are not a great shooting team right now so every time I play a game where we shoot like 4 of 29 from 3 I think about bumping that number up a little bit but there you go those are my sliders and again I would really appreciate some feedback if you have it. So if we don't turn things around fast, this could be the last half of our season. Down by 14 to start the second, and Donovan Mitchell misses a three. He's been known to cool off in the third quarter. That's gonna have to happen again. Vucevic hands off to Holiday. Fakes, passes inside to Vucevic, who gives Allen a facial. That's a Vucevic we like to see. Giving Allen a taste of his own medicine. Mitchell bothered going up for the shot. Vucevic backing down Niang. Barbecue chicken alert. He scores easily. 10 point game. Corner pass to Okoro. He misses the three. Holiday up the court to DeRozan. No good on the three pointer. Mitchell left wing, guarded by Terry. Terry backs off of him, and Mitchell misses a wide open shot. Terry pushing it and slamming in transition. Two minutes down in the half, and we're down by eight now. This shot from Garland. Need to follow the stops with baskets. Vucevic and one. Foul by George Niang. And Vucevic converts the three-point play. Garland got it knocked free, but picked it back up and missed the floater. Now down by just five. Terry tries a three, rattles out. Rebound Allen. Outlet to Burks. Up court to Okoro. Barely handled the pass, and he lays it in. Holiday. Pick and pop. Vucevic is three, too strong. And the rebound tapped up and into the hands of Allen. Garland, top of the key, connects from deep. The screen freed him up. Holiday off a of ball screen. Dishes to Vucevic. Another basket and the foul. Vucevic looking like a different player out of the halftime locker room. Stop and go from Darius Garland. That's hard to guard. Vucevic to Holiday and he's blocked. That was an ugly possession. Okoro pushing it. He stopped. Damian Jones tries a three and that's off. We'll give him that all day. Drew pushing it, stopping on a dime and finishing in transition. Jones fouled hard by Vucevic. Now Dalen Terry with the rock, Holiday up top. Holiday going left off the screen once Vucevic. Wide open, pick and pop three, no good. Nearly five minutes down in the third. Niang tries a three that won't go. It's gonna be a loose ball foul on the rebound. Damian Jones. The Cavs are sending double teams. Holiday attacks it, and draws a foul. 12 points, eight assists for the point guard. Block shot, Torrey Craig denies Isaac Okoro. Defense stepping it up a little bit. Dosunmu can't hit the three. Alec Burks with an easy two inside. Levine can't hit the midi. Garland gets around Dosunmu, falling away. That shot is off. 
Tori Craig to Dosunmu, another wide open three, and this time it falls through. Alec Burks, oh, a circus shot. Alec Burks has been killing us. Drummond goes to the line and can't hit either free throw. Max Struess on the right, dishes to a corner three for Darius Garland. Back up to 11. Terry should have been an and one, but he converts both free throws. Garland dancing on Dosunmu, creating space for the mid-range J. Spin move, DeRozan gets to the bucket. Misses the first free throw, but he hits the second. 10 point margin. Burks is fouled by Terry. Can only hit one free throw. The lead hovering around 11 for Cleveland. Terry inside to Vucevic. Muscling Jones out of the way for a dunk. He's up to 22 points, 12 in the quarter. Burks dribbling in place. Now he drives on Terry, and he's blocked. Great help from Nikola Vucevic. Dosunmu throws it away to Max Struess. Struess feeds Jones on the break. Easy one-hand slam. Rosen trying to get an easy look, and he does, and one. Three-point play is converted, and DeRozan's up to 14. Pick and roll, Allen is unstoppable, down low. DeRozan dunks it off a backdoor cut, and no good from Mitchell there. Outlet pass, Craig finishes in transition. Down to six. Mitchell nearly threw it away. Allen had to jump for it. Burks on the right wing. Taking his time. Shot clock running down. Pick and roll to Jones. They say he's fouled on the shot. He will go to the free throw line. That did not look like a foul on a shot to me. I'm going to challenge that. Even though it's almost impossible to get challenges to go your way. And that swipe from DeRozan is clearly not in the shooting motion. So that should get overturned. The ruling on the floor is confirmed. But it does not. I feel like challenges used to be so much more successful in 2K22. I think that was the first year it was introduced, but not in 23. Levine goes up, misses a shot. Gets it back and puts it in over Mitchell. Burks launches from deep and it's good. Hard screen from Damian Jones freeing that one up. Terry gets his own rebound now. Gives to Vucevic and he's fouled by Allen. Both shots good at the strike. Mitchell going up and he's blocked by Terry. He still hasn't scored in this quarter. 30 seconds remaining. Vucevic gets around Niang and scores. Back down to five. As Burks is fouled, he now has 21 points after the free throws. Terry back door for the jam. 100 to 95. Mitchell launches from half court. Almost went in, but. That's not a typical game six playoff game score at the end of three. Offense is firing on all cylinders right now. Drummond is hacked, and he actually hits both free throws to start this quarter. Garland spins, dishes to Okoro on the right wing for a triple. Long pass to Torrey Craig, gets Allen in the air, Forces a foul from Niang. Tory Craig coming off the bench, and he's got six points now. Alec Burks missed it, got his own board. 
Niang can't hit. Now Craig leaking out again for an easy layup. 103-101. We're on the verge of completing the comeback. Garland sneaks back door for the layup, and he's got 19. Levine going left, missing the pull-up jumper from the elbow. Burks to Allen, and Holiday reaches in. Okoro spinning, going up for the shot, and he goes to the free throw line, converting on one of two. Holiday, nice pass inside to Vucevic for the two-hand flush. Allen converts the finish. These two teams trading buckets. It could go down to the wire. DeRozan snakes to the elbow for a smooth jumper. Allen, another easy look, and he slams it down emphatically. Curling is DeRozan, and he dishes to Vucevic, who reverses it home. It's been the battle of the big men tonight. Allen versus Vucevic. Okoro shakes Vucevic out of his shoes for the highlight real play. DeRozan now trying to score on Okoro, and Okoro stands pat defensively. 112-107. Niang wants an inside look. Now he gives to Allen. He nails the jump hook from the free throw line. I didn't know he had that in his bag. DeRozan up top, rejects the screen. Fades away, too strong. Vucevic couldn't haul in the board. Niang, open three, nothing but backboard. Leaking out is Vucevic, and he finishes with the left. Easy transition buckets. Pick and roll, and Allen scores again. Holiday going right, back to Levine on the left. Drains the shot, and I just wish he was one step further away. Should have been a three, as Garland scores inside. He's got 21. Zach with it, he gets past Burks, and then he got too fancy with the pass, threw it away. Burks to the corner for Okoro, and that's no good. Seven point game with six minutes remaining. DeRozan, jump shot, off the backboard and in. Allen, another wide open dunk, and I don't know why we keep allowing those. He has not missed a shot in the second half. He's got 25. Out of the timeout, DeRozan to Vucevic. And sends Levine on a backdoor cut for a slam. Nice assist. That's Vucevic's first of the night. Missed three from Cleveland. Vucevic in the right corner. Pump fakes, drives, hooks it up and in. Back to a one possession game and the Cavs call timeout. It doesn't get more intense than this, folks. Down three, staring elimination in the face. Donovan Mitchell is still on the bench. He has not entered the game in this fourth quarter as Garland connects from deep. Vucevic. Hop, step, finish, and he's got 36. He's carried us in the second half. I mean, Burks has been playing well, so I understand why he's in, but why is Okoro in over Mitchell? That makes no sense. Holiday for three, and he knocks it down. Allen calling for the lob, and Garland puts it on a platter. Allen's got 27. Vucevic drawing a double, and he got it poked free. Just over three minutes to go. We leave Okoro open, who misses, and then he gets his own rebound. We can't have that. Niang goes behind the back and then finishes with the left. 
back up to a five point game. As the crowd must be wondering why Donovan Mitchell has inexplicably been benched. Terry around the Vucevic screen, wants him on the pick and pop, and he cashes the three as the shot clock expires. 39 points. Vucevic catching fire when we need him the most. Mitchell still riding the pine out of the timeout. Okoro misses the three, and Allen comes out of nowhere to put it back in. And the Cavs continue to lead this game narrowly. Levine guarded by Burks. Nothing there. DeRozan right side. Goes to the corner. Can't hit the mid-range shot. He usually hits those in his sleep. Garland smokes Holiday and finishes at the rim. Vucevic will shoot free throws. That's the third on Jared Allen. This for 40 points. He's got it. But he misses the second. It stays at five. Burks trying to extend the lead, but he cannot. And Levine up court to Vucevic. He's double teamed. He spins out of it. He has to pick up his dribble. Levine shoots. It's off. Rebound Vucevic, and he puts it in. Three-point game. Darius Garland on the right side, guarded by Holiday. Under a minute to go. Now Burke's right wing. Around the screen from Allen. Tries the floater. Off the rim, rebound Allen. Fresh 14 seconds for Cleveland. Garland fires to the corner. Okoro, bang! With under 30 seconds remaining, the Cavs lead by six. And two straight games now, Okoro has hit huge shots in the fourth quarter. And the Bulls are gonna need something crazy. Out of the timeout, Terry inbounds to Levine. Holiday on the left. Steps out for a triple. It's good! Back down to three with 21.8 on the clock. A mammoth shot for Drew Holiday. But there's still work to do. Shot clock is off as we're under 24 seconds. So we need to foul, and we have a foul to give. Luckily, we don't have to send Garland to the line. So the Cavs will inbound again. Niang to Garland to Okoro. And he's been clutched, but percentage-wise, we'd much rather have him at the line. But he hits the first. And he hits the second. Back up to five. Only one timeout remaining for the Bulls. They throw it up court to Terry. He scores. Tried for the and one, but they didn't call the foul. Full court pressing, and Levine fouls Burks. We need him to miss both. He does not. Burks' second free throw is good. And that could seal the deal. Pass up court to Levine. Tries a deep three. Rattles out. And we're not even going to foul. 138-133. Cleveland wins game six and moves on to the Eastern Conference Finals. And that's how season one of the Bulls franchise will end. The Cavs just flat out outplayed us. They outshot us all series long, and we couldn't stop them inside either. We'll never know how this series might have played out if we had won that overtime game in game two. But it was the same story over and over again in this series. We just couldn't stop him in the first half. Hey look, they're interviewing Donovan Mitchell after he got benched for the entire fourth quarter. That's hilarious. Yeah, he doesn't look too happy considering he just won a playoff series. 
Oh, 2K. But it's pretty embarrassing and demoralizing that we couldn't close a five-point gap in the fourth quarter when the Cavs' best player was sitting on the bench. I've never scored this many points with Nikola Vucevic. He finished with 42 points. Levine, DeRozan, and Holiday combined for 62. Holiday had 12 assists. Dalen Terry played well in his start, 13 points, 7 rebounds. Torrey Craig played well off the bench. But yeah, the problems aren't really apparent in the box score. Allen and Garland shot a combined 25 of 33. That's inexcusable. Burks with 23, Okoro had 16, and Mitchell finishes with 18, having sat out the entire fourth quarter. J.B. Bickerstaff didn't make a single substitution in the fourth quarter. It was just the same five guys, all 12 minutes, even though it says 13 there. And I get that Mitchell was not playing well in the third. I mean, he went scoreless, 0 for 6 from the field, but you gotta at least give him a chance to heat back up. Either way, it doesn't matter, because the Cavs still won. We again hit just six threes as a team, and I think it's pretty obvious what problem we need to address first in the offseason. We again outscore them in the second half, 77-68, to but still not enough to make up for the horrible first halves we've had this series. And that's it. The Bulls have been eliminated in the second round. And it'll be Cavs versus Celtics for a chance to go to the finals. So that does it for season one. 17 episodes in, it finally comes to a close. And it was a fun one. I definitely had a lot of fun putting it together. But I'm especially excited for season two because that's when a series really gets off the ground because that's when I can finally start making a real mark on this team and start drafting some interesting rookies and signing some free agents. There's a lot of interesting decisions to make this upcoming offseason. I definitely went into year one thinking that the Bulls that eventually win a championship are not going to look like the Bulls of right now. Um, obviously, we had the best record in the league, aside from Boston, so that might change my approach a little bit. We'll see. I think the series against Cleveland showed, though, that we are not quite at that level yet. We need to improve on defense. I'm not sure that Patrick, having Patrick Williams would have fixed all of our defensive problems. I think it was a huge issue, and... I think I also have to get better on the sticks, but anyway, I don't really want to get too in-depth right now. I plan on doing the off-season in two episodes, so next episode will be a simulation of the rest of the playoffs. I'll try to cover the stories that happened there, and then I'm also going to do a very detailed recap of the Bulls and each player and talk about my plans for the draft and free agency. Then I'll go through the first few stages of the offseason. And then the next episode, episode 19, will be when the real action happens. So it'll start with the draft and then free agency and then summer league and then go all the way up to the start of next season. I think the recap video is going to be really fun because I think there were a lot of interesting stories to talk about this year. And I'm also excited to see how the rest of the playoffs play out. Definitely going to try to get some highlights from those games. Thank you for tuning in through the entirety of Season 1. It came to a disappointing end, but we are just getting started in this series. I think it's going to be even more special once Season 2 kicks off and we can start getting into those fictional draft prospects. I'm so excited about that. I think those scouting reports are going to be a really interesting element to this series so that's gonna do it for me thank you for watching as always please leave a like comment or subscription recommend me to a friend give some feedback and i'll see you in the next one for the beginning of the first off season